What's up guys? So this is going to be an updated video regarding the 970 EVO Plus SSD. Now I did install and upgrade my MacBook um, SSD back on May 5th, 2021. As of today, I still have yet to have any kind of issues regarding this SSD. Somebody had commented on my install video saying that they could not install Monterey, that it would not run. So um, I went ahead and updated mine. I was kind of hesitant to do it because I was seeing that people were having issues regarding the Monterey install. I'm not sure if that was firmware related or what. When this SSD first came out, people were having issues trying to install macOS on it because of the firmware issues. But by the time that I actually got the drive, installed it into my MacBook, I didn't have any kind of firmware related issues uh, during the install process. So as you can see right here, I am on a 13 inch early 2015 MacBook Pro, 3.1 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, i7. And I'll go ahead and show you guys my storage right here. So I did go with the two terabyte SSD. I have a partition of Bootcamp, and then I have my original Catalina install. That was actually the same install that I did when I upgraded my Mac. And then I have the new Monterey on this partition right here. So I went from Catalina, and then I went through the system, and I upgraded to the Big Sur, and then I finally went ahead and did the Monterey. I'm not going to lie. I was a little scared to upgrade to Monterey because I did see people saying that it was crashy. Um, you would get stuck in a boot loop and all kinds of things like that. I personally didn't experience that. I'm not sure why other people do and other people don't. Could be the SSDs or what. Um, I know that Samsung doesn't really play nice with Apple when it comes to firmware and stuff like that. But again, I personally did not have any kind of issues. So I'm going to show you guys because somebody had asked me if I did any kind of benchmarks before and after. I personally did not. But I went ahead and did that Blackmagic uh, speed test for them so that you can actually see the results. And I'll go ahead and pull those up real quick. So on the left side, I have the 5 gig uh, speed test, and on the right side, I have the 1 gig speed test. You can see your results right here if you guys want to look over that. And I also did it on the Windows 10 as well. So let me go ahead and just click on that image real fast. As far as the boot times go for each operating system, Windows 10 runs really fast on this SSD. The boot time is just crazy. And then Catalina and Big Sur, the boot time was very fast as well. Monterey, you can tell there's a slight lag in there. It does hesitate a little bit, but for the most part, as long as you're running the operating system, that's good enough for me. I know more than likely a lot of people will probably complain about that because it is a big difference compared to booting up to Catalina or Big Sur. But hopefully with an update, they'll fix that issue. It's not that bad, though, to be honest. Um, it's something that I don't you know, really see as a big issue for me. As far as video editing goes, I use Camtasia a lot. Um, I don't do a whole lot of you know fancy editing or whatever, but Camtasia does a job for me. I've used Final Cut Pro. I've used iMovie. I've used uh, Photoshop and um, Illustrator and stuff like that. I've imported 4K videos off of my phone and it rendered it pretty well on Camtasia and um, Final Cut Pro, iMovie as well. The rendering times vary, I guess, depending on how big the file, you know, file size is. If you have a really big file, obviously it's going to take longer, but for the most part, it's handling it very well. Um, I'm 100% content with the hard drive that I purchased, so if you guys are on the fence as far as buying this drive, I would say go for it. It is pricey, you, know, you get what you pay for. So. Just make sure you guys back up the data so you don't lose anything in case something goes bad. And if you are having issues trying to do a clean install of Monterey, I highly recommend you guys follow the tutorial. I'll link that in the description of this video. Install Catalina first, go through the system, update to Big Sur, and then go to your Monterey. And if you guys happen to need the installers for like Catalina or Big Sur or whatever it may be, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. Here's my username. Message me on there and I'll be more than happy to help. Hopefully this video kind of helped you guys out a little bit. If you have any kind of issues with it or whatever, feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.